What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another Welcome Home video. Yes, the first one got a really good response. Like, I'm so glad that a lot of, like, my FNAF fans uh, are kind of like, yeah, you know, kind of looking out to other franchises as well, and I think this is a perfect opportunity to kind of expand and uh, see what's going on with this ARG. So, yeah, if you haven't seen my first video on this, you probably should go and watch it. It is, like, 40 minutes long, but I can do a brief summary uh, in a second. But, um, yeah, what is Welcome Home? It is an ARG. Uh, it is really, really, really cool. Uh, and something that I didn't mention uh, yesterday, when, when I recorded the first video yesterday, uh, is the fact that it is created by Party Coffin, um, who I, I haven't heard of before now, but I'm glad I have. Because his Twitter, or her Twitter, is it a he? He, they. Oh, nice. Um, their Twitter is... Uh, it has some really cool content on it, actually. You should go and follow them right now. Um, this banner looks sick. It, it, it shows that they have a lot planned for the future, I think. And that is very, very exciting. Um, because I can't wait to see an actual, like, puppet show if some of the media gets kind of restored, uh, as, uh, per se. Uh, but there's also some creepy stuff here. So this is, like, the Welcome Home thing, the banner. Don't know what that is. Is that Miss Piggy? Was that Miss Piggy? <laughs> okay, uh, and then we've got this one. What on earth is this? So this is... Not Poppy. Sally? No, Sally is the sun. No, I've forgotten her name. It's the flower girl, the one that looks like a flower from the top down. Uh, I don't know, but this is creepy. Who is this? Why does this exist? It's it's weird. So I think maybe we'll have to look out as well on, on Twitter for a lot of the artwork and stuff. But uh, it's a good thing to follow if you are following the series. Because, yeah, I, I, I think that the creator is doing a great job here. And I can't wait to see what comes next. So, welcome home. So... To kind of summarise what we went through yesterday, um, I keep saying yesterday, I mean in the last video. It was yesterday when I recorded it, but whatever. Basically, there is this puppet show from, it aired from 1969 to 1974, and it it, it was it was like a, a lost media thing where it was shut down and then kind of archived or something. It, it was never seen in the light of day again. Uh, and this restoration team are trying to restore the lost media, obviously. Um, but the thing is, there's a lot of weird stuff going on because they were given uh, envelopes, like colourful envelopes, with some of the artwork in them, and they and they suddenly thought, like, okay, we need to make this a thing. And so they made the restoration project, or they thought that they had to do it just because they have to. Um, but what's weird about the team is that they are completely anonymous, and they are not letting any people in. So a lot of things are going on on the inside. And what is going on? Well, I have a feeling it is connected to this guy right here you see on the screen, who is called Wally Darling. So I think we need to look deeper into this website today. So my plan is to try and understand this code. Is it a, like, a passcode? Is it an anagram or something? Like, is it a word? Is it going to make a word or a sentence? Uh, and is it a hyperlink? That's my three questions. I also want to look further into the guest book because I feel like we kind of went over that really briefly last time and I feel like there's going to be a lot more secrets right there. Um, but first, we should start with something that kind of implies more that Wally is the one behind all of this. Uh, and it's something that I realized when I was editing my video yesterday. Uh, and I didn't pick up on it as, as I was looking at it. Um, and it is, if you go to any of these, let's go to Barnaby's, if you go to any of the character profiles, it says go back in colorful letters down at the bottom. It's like the standard on the website, right? It's it's colorful, It's it's it says something Okay, it, go back. It's completely fine. Like, it's, there's nothing crazy about it. But we go to Wally's house, who, by the way, is in the middle of the neighborhood. Kind of like the center of attention of, of this entire thing. It says goodbye in black text. What does that mean? <laughs> Why is that there? Wally seems to be like the most 
well, actually, no, he's not the most colourful, but whatever. Wally, I, I don't know what's going up with Wally, going on with Wally, but there is something going on with him, as well as, like, the art that we saw on the pathway here, so below. Um, like, this is very clearly Wally. Is there some sort of cult going on? Is it a religion thing? Like, I, I don't know. I, I'm making up the kind of, like, hypotheses over here that don't have much to back them up. So, I, I mean, I guess that's the point of, like, theorizing and, and discovering things on the ARGs. Anyway, I reckon we should start with the code. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, there are random letters here. There's a W here that is really out of place. Is that one, actually? Yeah, that must be one, right? So, we've got a W. Let's remember the W. Is there anything else here? I don't think so. So we go to about us. So there's a W. There is a... I think there was an X on this one. Was it down here? Okay, so we've got a W and we've got a Y here. I also need to figure out this number thing. I don't know what this number is. So we've got a W, a Y. I swear there was an X that we saw before. But I can't find it. <laughs> Let's go on to news because we haven't looked too, too deep there. So W, Y... Let's say there's an X, because I, I remember there being an X last time. I was like, is that an, a, a, to the power of X? Uh, so we got a W, a Y, uh, an X, W, Y, X. I don't know how many there are. That's the question. Like, are there many? Is it going to be a, like, a cipher? We're going to need to move the letters to different places in the alphabet. Uh, w, Y, X. I can't find any others. This is going to be annoying. Oh, oh, okay, about us. Here, yeah, I didn't even realize this. Okay, so we need to look in the titles as well. So we got W, Y, X, O. W, Y, X, and O. Um, okay, so let's look at the other titles and stuff. I... Thank you, by the way, to Yankee and to Stitchy. Is your name even Stitchy anymore? I don't know if your name is Stitchy anymore. You know who... You, I, I, yeah, you know me. Um, I, I know you. Um, thank you guys to, for telling me that you can do Command A to select everything on the page. That makes everything a lot easier, especially when there's white text. And I've probably missed a lot of text. Uh, so that's not fun. Um, I feel like there's going to be one on every page. So this one is W. We go to the neighborhood. Is there even one on the neighborhood? Command A or Control A. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm on Mac, obviously. Uh, X, there's the X. Okay, so we got the X on Welcome Home. So we've got WX News. WX. Oh, where is it on this one? Ah, so here we go. This is really cool. So we, we actually are able to select all the text. So let's go to that guest book for, for a moment and see if we can find any other letters that are um, askew. So let's see if there's any hidden messages here. There must be some some kind of letters that are off in some place here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe I have to go through all of this. Maybe we have all the letters. Do we have? Are there four? But, like, what would that take us to? <laughs> I love this. Jackie says, hello, hello, hello. And there's just a massive hello above it. Um, I, I think there's something with these images, honestly. Like, maybe the images are the ones that are actually real. Um, I mean, maybe the images are the ones that are, like, part of the ARG, right? Oh, that's a creepy one. Why do you like eye contact? Ugh. Why do you like eye contact? And usually, like, they have something to do with the images that are next to them. So what is this swirly thing? <laughs> what? Um, I think Wally is a silly little guy. Okay. There's more. There's something more to this. There has to be. With the with the images or something. Oh wait, I think I know where the letters are gonna be. I reckon they're gonna be in the neighborhood, aren't they? In the descriptions. Oh, I'm so I'm such an idiot. Okay, so a um, nothing there. Oh, please be here. I I really want to like get to the good bit. 
<laughs> Assuming there is a good bit. This, they, may, they might just be a skew letters. Um, something that I'm noticing here is that this house in the middle, the sentient house, isn't being selected when I select everything on the page. So what if I inspect element and then try and delete it? Whoa! Look at that! That's the swirly thing! Is that even supposed to happen? <laughs> like... Whoa! There's a massive hole! Oops, we... Oh, we broke it. No! We broke it. There's a hole! There's a hole under the house! <gasps> that matches with So Below! So Below, that is... If you can't remember, So Below is the the thing here, it says so below when you load this image. So this takes place below the house. I'm so confused. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> what? Um, that's crazy. That's a, that's a really cool secret. I am so proud of myself for finding that. Wow. Okay, so... Oh, you're meant... Okay, okay, so you're meant to destroy the house and then click on it and it takes you to so below. That's really cool. That's really cool. I'm 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 sad that I didn't find it the intended way originally, but that is a really really cool secret. So underneath the house is a black hole or something. That's that I love that secret. I am smiling at just the joy of finding that secret. That was so satisfying. Okay, um, it doesn't get us any closer to the letter code thing. So, hmm, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask people how many letters there are, and then I'll I'll be back. Okay, so I've been talking to Stitchy on my Discord. So thank you so much, Stitchy, for helping me give me clues and stuff. Apparently there's six letters, so it leads me to believe it might be like a hyperlink thing, um, rather than like a sentence or... A, it, it could be a word or something, but I don't know what they would do with six letters. I think it's a hyperlink, but apparently there's six of them. And I have four, and the last two are really difficult to find, but one of them is in news, okay? So... What is going on with news? Because we haven't properly, like, gone through this yet, because it's like... I don't really care. <laughs> I do, I do. I, it's just like, it's a lot of text, right? So, um... What on earth could it be? <laughs> hmm... It's the E, isn't it? It's the E. I, do, I don't... I'm not a massive fan of that, but that's... It's clever. It's clever, but I don't like it. It's the E. It's the N, the W, the S, and the exclamation mark are going up and down, and the E is going down and up. I'm not too... Uh, I'm not... Yeah, that one's okay. It's just... It's a bit weird. Okay, so... We have W, Y, X, O, E. We need one more, and I don't know where it is, so let's get some more help. Uh, I, I think it might be... It's either in the guestbook or links, because we haven't gotten a letter from either of those, so it's in one of them, I think. Uh, I'm going to have one final look before I properly ask and find out myself. What is Alex saying? That's what I want to know right now. Wait, can I... Nope, I can't. Okay, wait, so... How do I... Okay. Alex. Okay, we can we can inspect element again. I don't know if you can see this. I'm sorry. Um, and delete this. This website has secrets. I just know it. Nice one. Okay, brilliant. That's a cool secret. <laughs> um, is it L because of the L's in Wally? I think it might be. You know, it has to be, right? I I don't know where else the letter would be. I think it might be L. Because L shouldn't be capitalized there. I'm going to ask if it's L. Okay, so... I don't know uh, what's going on, but L is not correct. Um, apparently, it is V from In Love. So I do want to find this, because I feel like I kind of... Um, I kind of cheated a little bit there. 
But to be fair, this is quite difficult. So I feel like a lot of things in the ARG are going to be difficult, especially for me to find in the video in in like the time that I'm recording. It's crazy that I found like the black hole underneath the house though. That is a really cool secret that I did not actually expect at all. So V in love. So where is love? Like I feel like I've seen love before. Um, don't take that out of context. Oh, oh. Is it one of these? Um. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. So if you do know how to get to the V, then let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about that. Um, but we do have our six letters and I'm wondering what to do about them. I think we have to type them in the hyperlink thing. So, um, W, X, Y, E, O, V. These are going to be in different orders, I assume. Uh, I, there's probably only one combination. Let's see if this one is correct. Oh god, this is going to be so much trial and error. Okay, let's put W here. For goodness sake. Oh my gosh. This is not the right way to do it. Oh! Oh! It says answer. It says answer. Uh-oh, that's a bit creepy. Uh, what is going on? It says answer in the in the top bar. Oh no, I'm, I'm creeped out. That's actually scary. That's actually crazy. Okay, so we can turn music on and off. Is there anything else to this? Like, is the TV called something? It's just static. Um, okay, that's... That's actually good to know. It's it's literally just static with probably just the static noise. Is there something in the static? I don't know. I don't think so. That, that's that's weird. That is very unsettling, by the way. Um, okay, let's see if there's any other combinations because that I'm sure that can't be it. Uh, but I'll save this one down um, somewhere. I'll probably just save it. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so that this doesn't take forever. I'm, I've got all of the hyperlinks. Let's see. Oh, I thought I did something wrong, but uh-oh, uh-oh. Looks like you wandered, wandered, wandered too far away from home. Head back. Return home and stay, stay, stay. <gasps> they really don't want us finding secrets. They really don't. That's weird. Telephone. Oh, duet. No, I hate audio. I hate audio. This is going to be terrifying. <laughs> this is so ominous. Oh my god. This is terrifying. Is this Wally? It's called Duet. Who is who is he duetting with? I can't quite make out what he's saying. I'm actually scared. You have a beautiful voice, Wally. I think he just said, out, out, out. Is he telling us to go away? No, please, stop. I'm so on edge. I'm so on edge. Please end. Please just end right now. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not playing the rest of that because there might be a jump scare. Um, <laughs> I'm genuinely... I'm so paranoid. I hate horror stuff. 
it's funny I should say that, right? Because I'm doing a series on FNAF and I'm doing a series on a psychological horror ARG. Um, so that is interesting. So it seems like Wally wants us to go away. We click on the phone and we go further. It it feels like um, kind of old man consequences vibes in FNAF where you go, you keep going deeper and deeper into the code and you find more and more dark things. So that's interesting. And then let's click this. Okay, and it just takes us back to the main page. Okay, so that was the second hyperlink. That is interesting. We have a third here. What is this? Oh my... It's just the house with all of the characters' eyes, or three of them. There's only three eyes. And then it ends on the house's eyes. And it says open, but I can't. Is there anything behind the eyes? I'm so glad I... Okay, so the animation is behind the eyes. It, it's just the way it's developed. Okay, cool. Um, that was, that was actually a cool little easter egg. It says try again. Mmm, this is weird. This is all so ominous and so well put together. So, another one is called try again again. Hello. You, you're, there's a lot of eye imagery. You're the, I, I want to brighten this. You're there. I can, if he said I can see you, that would have been terrifying. I can't see you. Oh. Okay. I can't see you. Do you see me? Okay. So this is where we brighten it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. So that, that's really good because then we're not just randomly brightening it. It's just, it's just saying like, do you see me? So that it will like prompt us to brighten it. So let's take a screenshot of this. I can already see something. I can already see something by just highlighting it. So there's our screenshot. Let's take this to Photoshop. Oh, that's my cool thumbnail that I made uh, last time. Let's, let's just put it on top. <laughs> okay. So let's take some levels and okay, wait, that's darkening. Oh, oh, what is, wow, okay. So ignore the stuff in the back, obviously. So that's Wally. That is Wally's eyes. I swear th those are the house's eyes though. Oh, my, uh, maybe not, okay. So that's, it's, there's Wally. That's, that's a really cool secret as well, brightening it up. Wow, a lot of this is really in intuitive. Like, you can really, like, understand where everything is coming from and what to do in some s situations. The only thing is you got to find six letters <laughs> to do that, and it's really difficult to find the last two, I would say. But, uh, still, really cool secrets. Secret number five is... Fantastic. Oh... <laughs> uh... So this seems like a script. Okay, so it is... Okay, the cool thing is we can delete a lot of the elements here as well. So Wally says, in a butterfly or a rock or a tree, there, can't decide what I'd like to do. Neighbor, when you have a problem... This is a weird gif as well. It's going so fast. And now it's just red. Okay. Uh, a butterfly enters... Okay, so let's get rid of these stuff. This stuff. So we can get rid of that. Um, what are other elements that we can get rid of? I think we can get rid of this. Yes. Okay, we want to get rid of the red. How do I get rid of the red thing? Oh. Cool. Uh, get rid of that. Okay, cool. I, I know how to code. So, we've got welcome home scene. Uh, a butterfly enters from the right th side of the frame and moves across the screen. The camera follows the butterfly. So this must be Frank, right? Because he's connected to butterflies. The next shot reveals Wally sitting at his favourite painting spot underneath a tree with an easel in front of him. Just like the front page of the website. Nothing is on it. Uh, just like his character profile uh, thing. Uh, Wally turns his head and looks at the camera. Hello neighbour, how are you today? 
Wally laughs and turns fully around. I hope you are happy. I feel happy too. When I am happy, I like to paint. I like to paint to feel happy too. What do you do to feel happy? Wally pauses for the viewer. Wally laughs. I think that would make me happy too. Even though I am happy, neighbour, I have a problem. I don't know what to paint. The camera focuses on the empty easel to emphasise this. I could paint a butterfly, or a rock, or a tree. There are too many things to paint. I can't decide what I would like to do. I don't know how to solve this problem. Neighbour, when you have a problem, what do you do? The camera paint pans out to reveal Barnaby walking in from the right side. Barnaby is holding a hot dog in his mouth. Okay. That's that's really cool. Um, so there's our script from Playfellow Workshop as well. Number 15. That is number 15. Um, something that I've been thinking is like, Wally is a painter. He's like a designer, right? He is creative and he can create things using a paintbrush and an easel. Who is to say he can't create all of this? Just saying the parallel might be there that he is an artist. So he is the creator in, in some way. So that could be a theory. I feel like there's a lot more to Wally as we have seen in a lot of these secrets. So what is up with Wally? That's the big question of all of this because he is definitely the center of the neighborhood and the center of attention of this whole ARG. Okay, so there is one more. Th oh, I was, <laughs> I was so confused. Wait, that's a cool puppet. Whoa. Whoa, that's cool. Um, okay, no, I don't want to like your art. Um, well, I do, but okay, shut up. Uh, let's go to welcome home you. Okay, so what do we want to do now? I, I think I want to end out this video by looking again at the guest book because I feel like there is something more going on there and I feel like I can solve it, okay? I feel like I can do it. There is more to this than meets the eye and it's to do with these pictures. I am sure of it. I'm so sure. So these images. Thank you. It says thank you. It's called thank you dot PNG. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So if we save image. It's called thank you. Also, don't. Don't judge. <laughs> um, so are all of them named something different? Like Poppy 2 Neighbor. I like Poppy 2 Neighbor. Oh, wait. Wally, you are very handsome. Thank you. A shout out to all other Poppy enjoyers of the world. I like Poppy 2. So Doink TV says honk. And Wally's reply is honk honk ha ha. Okay, okay, this is cool. This is cool. So, 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 what does this mean? So, Wally is behind the images here. And he is replying to the people asking him questions. So, when Scott says, what am, where am I? Wally is going to have an interesting answer, right? With me, neighbour. Oh wait, can you can you even see? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if you can see the thingy. So is that? I think there's a better way to do this by just, yeah. Okay. So with me neighbor. So the file name. If you couldn't see the things before, uh, it, it just say different things. So it's so nice to visit home. It's so lovely here, and everyone is so friendly. Have a smiley day. Thank you. I hope you think it's beautiful. Okay. So I feel like a lot of these are going to be ordinary, but then there's going to be the odd one. Like I want to do the spiral one now. Okay. So I thought someone had completely forgotten about the show. Let's let's do the ones that aren't so nice. How's it going? That's nice, but it's apple. It's an apple. Okay. Um, hey, Wally, I hope you're cool and not super evil. That'd be a real bummer. <laughs> you don't like me, neighbor. Oh. Oh. I love the colours, there's so many here. Here you go. So he's, okay, so he's drawing these as well. Um, what about this one? What, what does this one say? I like your nose. <laughs> oh, stupid. I love Frank. Okay. I love Frank too. He frowns. I think he is funny. Okay. 
So he has a crush on Frank, obviously. Um, so what are the... Okay, this one is ominous. I can hear you, neighbor. I love these secrets. This is so cool. What is this? I will mail him a letter for you. Okay, I want to find this one. This one. Why do you like eye contact? What is he going to say to this? So will... Okay, so you will know... I am looking at your you nay. Hmm. It seems like too long. So you will know. So you will know. I am looking at you, neighbor. I am talking to you. Uh 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 uh. Look, Ma, I'm on TV. You are on TV. Okay. This is creepy. What lovely houses. I love home. Home is my friend. Oh, wow. This is so well done. I am... I'm astounded at how well done this is. This is really cool. Um, I just want to see if there's any other, like, ones that stand out to me. This one is a cute drawing. Thank you, Cherry. I think I am pretty too. Okay. Uh, page four... Um, I'm in pain, but this is cool to see. Band-Aid, you'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what about that one? Oh, tic-tac-toe! Tic-tac-toe! You do. I am so happy. What was the question? I know what you are. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's interesting. An ant knows where you are, or what you are, sorry. I want to do that one, um, what's this? I've seen your art around Tumblr. Oh, okay. Um, I want to do... Oh, there's an eye. No, a puppet. Wally is such a doll. Oh, okay. Wally is such a doll. No, a puppet. I want to do this one. I want to do this one. Huh, that one, that one doesn't say anything, even though it is a Wally drawing. Interesting. This one looks weird again. Okay, so that's another one that doesn't have anything. Hmm. This is genuinely so cool. I'm eating the entire website. Why don't some of them have... Okay, so he's not even talking through some of them. This one's a clock. It's not me. It's not time yet. I'm looking. Ooh. Butterfly? I feel like there might be butterfly imagery. I don't know. I don't know either. Hmm. Well, this is very intriguing, to say the, to say the least. I wonder if there's more of these picture things around the entire, entire thing. I see you, hee hee. Ha ha ha. Ominous. Uh, the guy's on my screen. Is it me? Ooh. Okay, and then the last page, um, I don't think has anything apart from the hidden messages. Okay, so is there any of this? We can't even save any of this. All right, I think that is enough for today. I don't know how much else there is, if there is anything else. I don't know where else anything else would be. Uh, I, th I think we've kind of covered most of the things on this website. So, I think that might be it for now. Uh, there is going to be a lot more to come. Apparently this project is like 5% done. Uh, so there, there is definitely going to be a lot more to come. This is kind of like a prologue, I guess. Uh, and what a cool uh, idea for a lot of these things. And like, what a cool concept for this ARG. Um, if there's anything I've missed, let me know in the comments below. I might make another one of these type of types of videos. Or I might make like a Easter eggs you missed type of video. Um... So yeah, oh an iceberg, that an iceberg would be quite cool. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a really cool project. I am so happy to be uh, a part of like the community now uh, and I'm so excited to see where this goes. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.